Hey, this is Saf Levavi from LinkedInNerve.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this lesson, we're going to tackle one of the most challenging fingerstyle solos ever written, Jerry Reed's Jerry's Breakdown. First, I'm going to play it for you without a backing track. I want you to hear exactly what's going on, every nuance. I want you to listen to it a couple of times. And then we're going to break it down lick by lick. I'm going to show you every lick. I'm going to explain exactly what's going on. And I'm going to show you um, the simple finger picking concept behind the solo that will help you understand how to play it. But first, it goes like this. Okay, so let's take a deep breath and begin. Um, there's an intro, an A part, and a B part. Now the A part has two endings, the B part has two endings. The concept behind this solo is that this is not a guitar solo, this is a banjo solo. This is a banjo breakdown. Um, and being a banjo solo um, played on guitar, it utilizes what is called a banjo roll. A banjo roll is taking three fingers, the thumb, the index finger, and the middle finger. And it utilizes playing such as this. Okay? Um, and the banjo roll it is called because uh, it's called a roll because the fingers roll on the string. Now um, the B part is composed mostly of banjo rolls. Okay, um, the um, and the solo, even though it doesn't sound like it, uh, is composed mostly of banjo rolls too. So that's how we're going to learn this. We're going to dissect this into separate rolls. For example, this is the uh, first lick, then the second lick is this, it's a roll, and then another roll, then another roll, okay? So when you look at it this way, it's a lot easier to learn this. So let's begin. You begin with picking this, okay? Um, it's just a regular country beginning. Okay, with Jerry Reed's special twist. So one, two, three on the G string. Okay, it's just one, two, and three, um, along with open E and B strings. Okay, and you pick it with the thumb and the two fingers. Okay, tr um, I'm gonna try and um, explain exactly when to pick the thumb, when to pick the two fingers, uh, but it's gonna become repetitive, so um, I'm just gonna mention it every now and then. Um, so, one, two, and three. And then this. Okay, so together it sounds like this. So, this is the first roll we're going to play. It's a straight roll, it's a straight down roll. Um, 
and you just hammer on from three to four on the G string twice. And the second time you continue the roll. You, uh, you play three to four and then you play the B string and the E string. Okay? Just like that. And then another hammer-on from three to four and an open E string. So it's hammer-on, hammer-on with a roll, hammer-on with an E string. Okay? And then just the roll and hammer on from 0 to 1 on the G string and then you can pick the E string or the B string whichever sounds good to you um, Jerry Reed changes his arrangements he used to change his arrangement in every show so sometimes he played the E string sometimes he played the B string you don't have to stick to the original recording if you see the live version uh, there it's available on YouTube you'll see that he plays completely different endings um, than the recorded version we're gonna learn the recorded version so whenever a change is possible I'm gonna tell you you can change it you can um, play with it a little so it's this or, okay, I prefer the B string, so um, we were here, okay, twice, and then the third time, just up to the roll, and then hammer on from 0 to 1 on the G string, open B, and then add the second finger on 2 on the D string, completing this into a sort of a E chord and then you play okay just the D string on two the rest of the strings then D by the rest of the strings I mean strings one two and three um, the G string is still on one so this is an E chord okay so together slowly one two three hammer on without talking. Got it? That's the first line. Uh, the second line is where the rolls really begin to show. This was just warming up. Uh, by the way, this is called Jerry's Breakdown because, um, well, Jerry Reed was... Uh, he was a bastard. He was... He knew he was good. Uh, he called this Jerry's Breakdown, uh, I think, for three reasons. One is that there's a, it, it, this is a banjo breakdown. Two is that he probably had a breakdown writing this. And three, he knew that everybody who tried to learn this would have a breakdown. So um, have patience. This took me about two and a half months to learn because I had to learn how to do banjo rules. I didn't have a teacher to do it. I had to... Um, understand it by myself and it took me a long long time to get this that's why I'm making the lesson to help you avoid a breakdown so just have a lot of patience this piece is really really tricky um, because when it's played slowly you can not hear it um, you hear it only because of the open strings banjo rolls utilize a lot of open strings and uh, when you play it slowly it doesn't sound anything like the original because banjo rolls are meant to be played fast and when you slow them down they lose context so just have patience and you'll get it so second line um, this is the line from 3 to 4 on the G string and then B string, G string, B string okay, it's the same note um, okay, that's how it sounds like it's not a mistake, it's the same note 
and then you put your pinky on six on the G string, first finger on three on the B string, and this is your first official roll. Okay, that's how you do the rolls. You pick uh, thumb, second finger, first finger. Again, thumb, middle finger, index finger on the third, first, and second strings. And that's what you do here. Okay? Six on the G string, open E string, three on the B string. This is your main concept. This is your main picking motif here. So get used to it. Um, so, the next lick is again another roll. You take the first finger off, keep the pinky on the, on the G string, on six, and you do another roll. Okay? Together. Okay? Makes sense now? Um, okay, so let's speed it up a little. Okay, got it now? And then four and uh, four on the G string and an open B string again. Then pull off from three to two on the G string and then an open E string. Okay, so it's and then hammer on from zero to one on the G string and an open B string again. Okay, we're gonna stop now, before the final lick. It sounds like this. Okay, it's a, it's a country lick. It's a country blues lick, because... Okay, it utilizes the blue note, uh, the scale note, and then a hammer on to the major note. Okay, it's pentatonic. Okay, it's, it's just a simple, um, it's a simple blues cliche, but in a country way, in a banjo way. So that's the genius of this piece. So, all together now. Hammer on. Okay, with the open B string. First roll, six and three. Second roll, just six and two open strings. Then... 4 with the open B string, pull off from 3 to 2 E string, hammer on from 0 to 1 on the G string and an open B string. So... Okay, now we're gonna play this. This is just a pentatonic lick. Just uh, 2 0 on the D string. Uh, two, pull off to one, pull off to zero on the A string. Okay, double pull off. Uh, this again is the blue note. This is an octave. And then three on the E string, bend it down a little, and then open E string, E chord. Okay, so it's two, zero, two, one, zero, three, zero. E together. Okay? The entire look. From the top. makes sense in context. You can hear, uh, when you play it, uh, when you play it slowly, you hear every note. And the purpose of the open strings is to serve as vamps, uh, vamp notes, meaning that the ear is supposed to listen to the melody and the open strings are just an embellishment. 
So when you play it slowly, you notice every, every note. And that's why it doesn't sound like that. So just have patience and you can record yourself and listen to yourself playing so you can track your progress. That's a nice way to do this if you're getting really confused. Let's begin the A part. I'll play it slowly first. The A part contains four lines uh, with the fourth line being the ending and you've got a first ending and a second ending. You play the A part twice. So the three lines before the ending go like this. This is the first line, now the second. Same as the first. Okay, and then the first ending. Second ending. Okay, that's the that's basically an overview. So let's begin. Have patience. The first lick is this. Okay? It's just a pull off from uh, 7 to 5 on the E string. And then pinky on the 8th fret of the B string. And then you play an open E string and then you move the pinky up to 9 on the B string. Okay? This is the end of the first lick because then you begin a roll. Now, you might think that the line is this, but it's not, it's this. Okay, it finishes on the 9. So, pull off from 7 to 5, 8, open E string, 9. Okay, 9 on the B string, 8 and 9 on the B string. Now for the first roll. The first roll is this, okay, it's open E string, first finger on 7 on the B string, and second finger on 8 on the G string, and you just play them. Okay, this is another roll. This is uh, just playing uh, second finger, first finger, thumb. Okay, first, second, and third strings. Second roll is open E string, open B string, seven on the G string. Okay, so together. roll you take these three fingers up one string and you play the second third and fourth strings open B string six on the G string eight on the D string okay that's how it sounds like so together then you play the B string again, an open B string again, okay? So together. Now, uh, you want to hear this up to speed? Okay, that's how it sounds like. Now, the next line is fairly simple. Okay, it's a hammer-on from 6 to 7 on the D string and then an open B string. And then the same thing down one string. It's, or up one string if you, you're talking musically. 
pitch wise, down one string physically. I, I usually refer to it physically. So um, six to five on the G string, open E string. Okay, so. And then a hammer on from seven to eight on the B string. Okay, now you pick it with the thumb, second finger, thumb, second finger, thumb. Okay, and then the first roll again. Okay, um, the, seven, the open E string, seven on the B string, eight on the G string. And then this. Open. Um, this is the roll. It's an open E string, open B string, five, hammer on to six on the G string, and then open E string again. So E, B, five to six, E. Okay? I hope we're okay up till now. Okay, so this is the first line. Congratulations, this is the beginning of the tricky part. So, now a little speedier. Okay, this is both the first and third lines, so you know two lines already. And the beginning of the first line is also the beginning of the second line, so you know two and a half lines already. Um, you do this again. Okay, up to the third roll. So pull off, eight, nine, first roll, second roll, third roll. Okay, it's the same first half of the line. Now you take this shape, six and eight, you take it back one fret, and you play eight, um, not eight, seven on the D string, and you push it, you slide it to eight, along with this, along with five to six, pressed, because you don't have time to take the finger off Okay, so it's, it's this, and then you add the second finger on 7 on the B string, or you can add it when you take it back. So you, if you're confused, I'm explaining this even further, so don't worry. Um, you played this, right? Now you need to do this. So what you do is you take these two, these two fingers, back one fret, and you add the second finger on six on the B string, um, making it this shape. This shape is a part of the C shape chord uh, because we're moving into an F sharp chord. Um, and we're just sliding into it, so you just you can prepare the chord before that. Or you can slide and then add the finger, whichever is more comfortable for you. I like to add the finger before the slide. Let's go. Okay, so you slide back to 8. So now you're at 8, 6, and 5. Um, the E string is open, but we're not playing it yet. Now comes the, the, the first real roll because a banjo roll is not just one uh, one three note roll it's ta -da 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 -da. usually it's three three two that's usually how a banjo roll goes it's um it's it's an eight but it's got a feel of three three two so that's what we're playing here we're playing uh we're playing a full roll. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So, 
We're playing this chord. We're playing strings. Four, two, three, four, two, three. Okay? Thumb and two fingers. And then we're playing open E string, open B string. So this is one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two. First string and second string. Open, both open. So. Okay, that's what gives it the sound. Um, is there anything else worth mentioning? Yes. Um, I play uh, the E and B strings with the first and second fingers. So it's thumb, second, first, thumb, second, first, second, first. Um, and that prepares me for this. because the fingers are already in place for the next roll. Um, so that's how I play it. Um, okay, so we were here. So together, the, the second line. Okay, and now let's end the second line. It's this genius line. This, this is probably my favorite sounding line of the entire composition. I don't know why, I just love this lick. Okay, it's just, it's, it's great in my opinion. Uh, it's ingenious. Um, second finger on, second finger, not first. You're gonna need the first finger in a second. Second finger on the G string, on six. And then you play an open B string. Again, G string with the thumb, second finger plays the B string. And then this. This is the next roll. So, first finger on five on the E string, third finger on seven on the G string. Open B string. Roll. Then another roll. Pinky on eight on the G string. Open E string, open B string. Okay? Did you notice that this is two, three, three? This is another complete roll. It's two, three, three. Okay? I told you, this is ingenious. It's a reverse roll. I love this line. So together. Okay, let's go through it again. Six, seven, and five, eight. Okay? Complete second line. Okay? Then you do the first line again. Now the endings. Um, both endings begin the same way and end differently. First ending goes like this. finger on five on the B string. You play the B string and the E string. It's the same note. And then third finger sliding from seven to nine on the G string. Okay? You're sliding to the same note. This, this, and this are three E notes. It's it's three different ways of playing the same E note. Okay, this is genius. And then you play another E note. You play the E string again, but this time it's a roll. So, five, slide, E. Um, okay, the roll is, um, you're, you keep this on, 
you keep the finger on 9 on the G string and you just do this. Okay? Strings 1, 2, 3, 1. Open E string, open B string, uh, 9 on the G string, open E string. Now, what's important here is that you don't slide fast. You don't do this. Okay, this is not a fast slide. This is... Okay, it's two notes. It's not one note, it's not... It's two notes. It's... Got it? It's eighth notes. It's... Okay, it's... Dun, dun, dun. It's not... Dun, dun. It's not... It's... You can hear the difference? It's three notes. It's... It's a long slide. It's, it's, it's a note, then sliding into the next note. And then, 12 on the G string. Just making sure I'm right. 12 on the G string, open E string. Then, 13 on the G string. Okay, this is your next little lick. Got it? And then a roll. Um, open E string, 7 on the B string, 9 on the G string. Okay? From um, top to bottom. Open E string, 7, 9. Okay? Again, intentionally, both E notes. So, and then open E string, open B string. So, if you notice, kudos to you if you've noticed that this is 3 3 2. Again, 3 3 2. Okay? It's a sort of a banjo roll. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay? I want you to try and hear it. Because it will make your life much easier if you can hear the pattern. Um, where were we? Okay? Now, the Endings, first ending. This. Okay, this is taken from the B part. So remember it. Um, you put on this little chord. Okay, I know it sounds a bit awful. Because it's got a minor second. Um, but in banjo rolls, it sounds good. Um, okay, <clears throat> you can see. Uh, you can see how playing it slowly doesn't help you because this, for example, can really confuse the ear. Um, so, first finger on the B string on nine. Twelve on the G string with your pinky, and eleven on the D string with your third finger. And you play. This time, you play, uh, you play both the G and the D strings with your thumb. Because this is a different pattern. Okay, this is the pattern. Uh, you, you'll get the pattern when we play the B part. So, in the meantime, just Hold in there and and trust me. Um, so keep your first and second fingers on the first and second strings. So um, G string, um, B string, D string. Okay, three, two, four strings, three, two, and four with your thumb. First finger, thumb. Okay, this is important. And then you let it go. And you play the E string and the B string. Open. Okay, so... 
And then this. Again. Hammer on from uh, 0 to 1 on the G string. Open E string. Or open B string. You can play an open B string as well. Sounds good. It's the same lick, basically. And then complete it into uh, an E chord, two on the D string, and play this. Okay? Bass, rest of the strings, bass. This is the first ending. Then you play the entire, uh, the entire A part again. And then, this. Okay? It's up to the 7 and 9 again, so you do the uh, open, open E string, 7, 9. Open E string, open B string. Now, the second ending is this. Okay? Um, it's playful. It's just playful. Um, so... I, I guess you can see what's going on here. You just slide from 3 to 4. E string, slide from, e to, from 3 to 4. E string, 3 to 4 of course on the G string, um, it's, it's a wink back to the, to the open, to, to the intro, to the opening of the piece, so, okay, and then B string, and then the same final lick, so it's just, okay, this, you can, you can look at it this way, you can say it's 3 to 4, E string, 3 to 4, uh, and then a roll, E string, B string, hammer on from 0 to 1 on the G string, E string, 2 on the, G, on the D string, rest of the strings, 2 on the D string. And we're done with the A part. So congratulations to you and um, it for, for getting here. So, so, first ending. Second ending. Okay, you wanna go through um, the entire A part again? Let's go. Just play the third line and the second ending. Ah. Second ending. <sighs> okay. The good news is that the B part is a lot easier than the A part. It's a lot easier because it's just banjo rolls of different chords and the chords are basically just the same finger position with one finger moving backwards a fret. Um, the bad news is that you need to learn a new uh, banjo roll pattern. It's not such a bad news, it's a great piece of news because you're learning a new banjo roll pattern. So there's actually no bad news. I should cut this out. Anyway, um, 
Listen to this. So you've got open E string, 9, 11, 11, okay? Now the banjo roll goes like this. Okay, it's 2, 3, 3. Now, the two fingers are on the first and second strings. The thumb picks the G string and the D string, okay? So, one, two, okay, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay, let's play it. Okay, sounds like this. So, you play um, D string, B string, and then uh, G string, E string, B string, then D string, E string, B string. Okay? When you look at it like that, it's not that difficult. Um, but you have to get used to it, used to picking it, um, okay, picking it more than once without getting confused. So uh, let's call it by string numbers. Um, four, two, Three one two, four one two. Okay, four two three one two four one two. Got it? Okay. I hope it's clear by now. One last time. D B G E B D E B. Four two three one two. Then, same thing, you take, um, you take off the, the third finger and you put the second finger instead of it on 10 on the D string. The rest stays the same and you pick the same thing. Okay, so it's 11, 10. Can you guess the next one? It's nine. So what do you do here? You, uh, you just ch exchange fingers. The first finger goes to nine on the D string. The second finger goes to nine on the B string where the first finger used to be. So, okay. And then you take the first finger back one fret, down one fret to eight. So, 11, 10, 9, 8, okay, all with the same picking pattern. Then, third finger on, um, well, leave the pinky on, okay, on 11 on the G string. Uh, third finger goes to 10 on the D string, 10 on the D string. First finger goes to 8 on the B string. Okay, creating this. Okay, again, this 
this awful sounding chord. On 8, 11, and 10, you play this with the same banjo roll. Okay? And then you play the exact same first ending of the verse. You take this up, one, the verse, the A part. It's not a song. Um, so you push this up one fret. Um, so you have, again, um, open E string, uh, 9, 12, 11. And you play the same thing. just play E for one more bar. Okay? Uh, Jerry Reed gives you a little time to rest here. So... Okay, so first round of the B part. Exact same thing again. 11, 10, 9, 8. Reverse the fingers for the odd chord. And then, the coolest line ever. This. from 8 to 9 and uh, having an open E string between the first and second time you do this. Okay? This is it. And then a roll containing open E string 5 and 5 on the B and G strings. Okay? So it's this. It's open E string, open B string, 4 on the G string, B string again. And then this, taken from the intro. Okay, it's um, open E string, 3 on the B string, 6 on the G string. Remember this shape? And then um, wait a minute, I'm a bit confused, again. Okay, so it's six first, six on the G string. So it's six, open E string, uh, three on the B string. Then you take the first finger off, leave the pinky on six on the G string, and another roll, six, open E string, open B string. And then, again, um, four on the G string, open B string. So, and then four on the G string again. Then six on the G string along together with the E string. And then five on the B string together with the E string. Okay? It's the same note on purpose. So, so together. Okay? This is like, okay, it's sort of an intro uh, getting you into, into the first lick. And you play, you're back to the first lick. Um, so the ending. Okay, 
So, uh, slide to nine, twice, eight, nine, E string, eight, nine, E string, roll, E string, five, five, um, open E string, open B string, four, B string, six and three, roll, six and open E string and B string, four, B string, four, six with E, five with E on, uh, five on B string with E. B part with second ending. Okay, got a little bit confused with the end there. Okay, it's a lot easier to play it fast than slow. Um, that's banjo solos for you. Um, it's murder. Um, okay, now we need the final line. So you can either play the entire piece again and then end on this. Okay, um, I'll show you in a second. Or you can just play the first line, the second line, and then the third line. And after you're done with the third line, you play the final lick. The final lick is this. Okay, so um, I'll show you where where you can place it, where you should place it. Um, you play this. And then you just add the open, the open G string, okay? After this, remember the final, the third roll of the line? You just add an open G string to it. So, and then open E bass, and then this. Okay? It's a double pull off on the D string from five to two to zero. Five to zero. Okay? And then two on the G string, three on the B string. Okay? Not together. Separately. Okay, it's a solo. And then double pull off again. Two, one, zero on the G string. Double pull off. Okay, and then pull off from two to zero on the D string, and then two on the D string, and an E chord. Okay, so it's so together and together with the ending. Um, And uh, we're done with Jerry's breakdown. Um, so, more power to you for learning this. Um, before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this. Uh, I take requests, of course, and the lessons are for free and will always be free. And um, go to the website, download the tab, uh, the tab you saw on the screen, download it, it's free, of course, uh, everything here is free. But if you want to give something back, I'd be very, very grateful, there's a donation button on the website. If you want to give something back for this lesson, for any lesson, for just making lessons, then I'd be very, very grateful and I thank you in advance for any donation you choose to make. Um, I loved teaching you this uh, and I really hope that you have a lot of fun with this one. This is one of the most fun pieces to play. Most fun? Can you say that? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, the funnest uh, people, um, people? Compositions. What am I talking about? To play. So go learn this, get it under your fingers, enjoy this impress the heck out of everybody once you learn 
this and have it under your fingers because this is really impressive. Um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very, very much for watching this.